here it is all laid out. What I really like about these guys is their attention to detail. They include everything you need, including Loctite. On this version, you even get ARP bolts, which are super nice. What's up everybody, welcome to Speedy's Garage. Today we've got a new toy to install from Performance Development. It came nicely packaged. I like the box, it actually has their logo on it, very professional. Got a bag of goodies, I'm assuming that's the hardware. Color instructions, that's rare these days. Most of the time they just send you a link in an email. That's nice. Rubber isolator. Wow, really well packaged actually. The brace comes in a couple of parts. Like I said, it's very well packaged. Nice black anodized finish. So this is the bottom piece where the bushing will go through. There's your mounting holes. It's all billet CNC machine, so this will have extremely tight tolerances. So keep that in mind when you're installing it. This is the second piece. And this is the part right here that really makes it unique. It has a factory bushing built in, so I think the idea is it will still allow the differential to move around some while still really reinforcing it. So this is kind of how it's going to mount on the car. It'll allow you to have a much stronger differential, but still allow that movement that the factory engineers designed. And I am not at my shop today. I'm actually at a buddy's place. He's got a lift. And that's just because it makes it much simpler for me to film this type of thing because I can have the car up in the air and I'm not having to roll back and forth and try to get the camera set up in certain positions. So we're gonna borrow the lift and get this thing installed. Here it is all laid out. What I really like about these guys is their attention to detail. They include everything you need, including Loctite. On this version, you even get ARP bolts, which are super nice. And they give you two options. If your cross member happens to be one that was threaded from the factory, you can use these, I believe these are 10 millimeter bolts and they just go up into the cross member. However, if you're like me and your 2016 and up is not threaded, they now include these inserts. And so these will slide down into the frame and then it gives you a fixed point with which to mount. And you're no longer trying to fish little um, bolts into the cross member. That was always a little bit of a tricky spot. And they give you uh, a driver's side and a uh, passenger side. So it'll be like, like this. And they go in there again, and these are for these 10 millimeter bolts. And even if you have the cross member that's threaded with the, um, these are 12 millimeter, I'm sorry, with the 10 millimeter bolts, you might consider drilling out those threaded spots so that you can use these for a little bit more strength. All right, we got the car up on the lift. First thing we're going to do, and you don't have to have a lift to do this. I'm just doing, like I said, to make it easier to film. You're going to remove the two main bolts. They are 16 millimeter. Take those out. And next we're going to remove the three 12 millimeter lower case bolts. Okay, next just put the brace in place. Your long bolt from the factory goes on the passenger side. 16 millimeter bolt. Short one goes on the driver's side and you just want to get them started by hand. Next start the 12 millimeter bolts for the lower half that came in the kit. These are ARP bolts. You just want to get those started by hand as well. There's three of those. Once you have everything hand started, just snug them down. And I'm going to start with the top 16 millimeter bolts. And then the 12 millimeter bolts. Since mine is a 2016 and these brace bolts holes are not threaded, I'm going to use the inserts that were provided. Remember the square one? Shape like that, shape like a eye, goes in with the threaded part up, and it will slide into the slot on the cross member. And be careful and don't lose it in the cross member somewhere when you put it in there. It can actually move around, so 
be careful when you insert it. Same with the driver's side, and it would go in like this. Now that we got the inserts in place, we know they're lined up good, I'm going to go ahead and torque these mounting bolts, and the two 16 millimeter bolts get to torqued to 90 foot pounds. We're going to tighten the 12 millimeter bolts to 42 foot pounds, and the instructions call them M10 by 90. I'm going to do outside in. This next part can get just a little bit tricky because you have to line up the bushing hole with the new bolt. And this is mounted to the differential already. You want to make sure that your cross member is clear of any weld or any um, high spots. Now mine's a 2016, so I'm not having that issue. But on some of these, I've heard of there being a new uh, bead of weld in here, and it can cause the, the part two of the brace to be a little bit lower. And you might also need a jack. I'm going to use a pole jack to kind of put some pressure on the differential to depress the um, factory bushings so that you can get that hole to line up. So it comes with a rubber isolator. You're going to lay that across the top of part two. And since I'm using the inserts, I'm using the 10 millimeter ARP bolts. I'm going to try to just get them started. And you may have to use a jack, like I said, to, to manipulate the rear end a little bit. This one's up on a lift, so we did put the jack on the front and manipulate some of the bolts to get everything to line up. Once you've got everything aligned and you know your bolt will start, put some of the Loctite that was included on the bolt and then feed it through and gently start it by hand to make sure your threads line up. And then just tighten it the rest of the way down until it's snug. Once you have this snug, come in and tighten your 12 millimeter cross member bolts to 42 foot pounds. And finally, tighten the 21 millimeter through bolt to 90 foot pounds. So that's how you get it installed. It's a little bit tricky to get everything to line up because remember, you got a cross member that's not a machine part. You've got a bushing that's not a machine part. You've got a cast differential that's not a machine part. And you got this huge brace that is CNC from billet aluminum. So it is an exact fit machined part. So you might have to manipulate some bushings or bolts to get things to line up exactly like you need them to. It might have been a little bit easier had the car been sitting on its weight on the ground. The differential might have been compressed enough. I had to work a little bit to get this through bolt to line up, but got it done. And you'll notice they did leave a hole there for servicing the differential. So you can get in there and still service the differential. I think this is a huge upgrade versus their previous uh, brace version that they had. It's obviously much, much stronger. and technically a little bit easier to install, especially with those inserts. That was really the way to go to get the thing done. But that's what it looks like once it's all installed and ready for the drag strip. And there's what the old one looked like. It was a great brace. It worked fine for me. I never had any issues. But again, it's a huge upgrade to the new one. So if you're looking at getting a differential brace, this is definitely the one I would go with. Okay, so that's it for today. We got our upgraded brace installed. Not too bad, really. The most important part is making sure that that center bolt lines up and that you can start it by hand. You don't want to cross thread uh, because it's aluminum. Even though it's billet aluminum very strong, you can still cross thread it and mess those threads up. So make sure you do whatever it takes to get that bolt to line up and that you can start it by hand. Don't forget your Loctite and make sure you follow all of the torque specs on these bolts. Be sure to check us out on Instagram if you haven't already. It's at speedies underscore garage as well as our website www.speediesgarage.net and I will leave a link at the bottom here where you can go to uh, Performance Development's website and get your own brace for your car. You need one if you're going to the drag strip. A lot of demons have broken their differentials and they've been testing this for a while and have found it to be a very solid solution to that problem. We'll see you out there.